<laughs> Hello and welcome to The Graduate Report. My name is Mr. Daniel Grosditch. And today, I'm going to show you how to tie a tie. Because your reward for doing well in school is getting a job where you have to wear a tie. Welcome to The Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Okay, now if you didn't do well in school and you don't have a job where you have to wear a tie, then go down to your local Goodwill and buy a used tie to practice on while you take night classes at a community college and think about how cool you used to be in high school. The first step to tying a tie is admitting to yourself that you work a job that you hate, but that you make enough money to pay people to wash your car and watch your kids while you work, so that somehow makes it okay. Once you've done this, Put the tie around your neck, like this. Step two, what you wanna do is blame your parents for not making so much money that you can live in excess luxury like the Kardashians or the Hiltons. It's their fault you're poor. Then you put the fat part over the side like this. Twice, like that. Step three, what you wanna do is give in to social pressures and resign yourself to a life of mundane mediocrity. Now that you've got that part down, what you wanna do is pull this part up through here and then Bring it back down through the whole thingy that you just created like that. Like that. Step four, and possibly the most important step, you have to lie to yourself. Tell yourself that this is only temporary. That one day you're going to buy a sailboat and then float around the world on the wind. Once you've done that, you can slowly cinch the tie up to your neck and start to feel it really closing in on you. Step five, pull the collar down, cover up the ugly bits. Make sure she's good and tight. When you tighten it, that extra tightness, try to think of all your adult responsibilities choking the life out of you. There! Yeah. That's how you tie tie. Fino, for me, phone. Stay a child as long as you can and really enjoy it. One day, your girlfriend's gonna come up to you and say that she's pregnant, and then your childhood is over, and it's somebody else's turn to be a child. Unless, of course, you're really rich. Then you can just keep doing it and doing it and doing it real. Doing it and doing it and doing it real. Doing it and doing it and doing it real. How did tying a tie become an endorsement not to have children? Weird. I love you, little lemon drops. Do join us on Wednesday when we review something awesome. And don't forget to leave a comment, even if it's just smashing your cloven fist and hooven into the keyboard. It really helps with the Google analytical things. And go to my Facebook and like me because I like you. Okay, I love you. The bird.